Alright guys, hello and welcome to the first Let's Play Deadlift video. As you guys know, whenever a new hero comes out, I do a short de Let's Play uh, Let's Play video and uh, talk about the hero, talk about things and items I think will be good and other stuff like that. Hello, Bratwurst Burton, and thank you for subbing. Welcome, welcome. So, um, I played this hero in practice mode uh, before. I've played this hero for 10 minutes so far, uh, tried him in practice twice uh, in, as a jungler because I saw he has minions, he should be able to jungle, you know, I've, I just felt like jungling should be a possibility with this hero and thus I decided to uh, try him in the jungle in practice mode and I managed to reach uh, level 6, uh, 435, uh, 4 minutes and 35 seconds in the first time in practice and the second time I tried, uh, I got 4 minutes and 10 seconds, so basically I can get level 6 as fast as a Tempest. <clears throat> so the hero definitely has the potential to jungle, and that's where we're going to be trying him. Um, so yeah, deadlift in the jungle will, is what we're going to be trying game one at least. Probably all games, because I feel like I want to try him in the jungle today. We'll see if I decide to try him in the lane. But first of all, we'll try him as a jungler, so let's get going. <clears throat> you play deadlift so much? Nice. So basically what you do is you start off by just uh, eating the ground in the start because you don't need any bodies to spawn zombies and then they will automatically spawn off the corpses after that. So I'm going to spawn a war beast enchanter here I think. Yeah, there you go. So it's a very 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 simple concept of how the hero starts off at least. Also wolf commanders are insanely good to kill early because they buff you and your minions. So I'm going to show you when it dies here. I'm going to spawn you. This doesn't cost any mana at all by the way. Yes, this is the first game of Deadlifted either, but I've tried him twice in practice already, so... As you can see here, I spawned a Wolf Commander, and uh, I will be buffed by, uh, like, I'll get the damage buff from the Wolf Commander. Which is pretty sick. At level 1, I can have a total of 3 minions, then 4, 5, and 6. As I said, I, I've, I tried him twice in Hellborn, I have not jungled him in Legion Jungle yet, so this is my first uh, Legion Jungle with the hero. Um, but I'd, mad I'd imagine it would be... it will be pretty similar. I think I killed that one second too little, too late. All right, gonna get stunned here. Whatever. All right, so we're gonna W the Minotaur here to kill him faster, because he dies way, way faster if we do that. And it's definitely worth using that in the start, because we won't really be using our mana anyway. So, and from my practice mode, uh, I realized that uh, Ring of the Teacher is really strong because um, it also <coughs> gives the aura to your uh, minions. So Ring of the Teacher is the first item I go, then I go Bottle, make sure I get runes, try and gank a little bit, and then we go for Boots. Uh, that, that's the build that I've figured out from two practice Beware. mode games. Um, not really sure if it's the best of course, haven't tested middle. it enough at all, but uh, I hope it is. <clears throat> I don't think we're going to get level 6 here by 4 minutes 30 like I did in Hellborn. We were a little bit unlucky with the spawns, so I think we'll, it will take a little bit longer, not too much longer, but a little bit. I also feel like this hero will combo really, really well with any kind of uh, hooking, hooking hero. Um, in particular because... oh crap, another one of those. Uh, in particular because um, it's so easy to get your Q off when you have a hooker, and or if you have a, like a big slow. But that is of course also uh, a theory, because I haven't played it that much, so I don't know. And I haven't played him anywhere in a real game yet, this is my first real game. <clears throat> Alright, four creeps. Uh, teach how the hero works. I don't really know how the hero works completely myself yet, bro. This is my uh, first real game. Third uh, actual game we're playing in, I guess. We're gonna get a late level four six here, I feel like. Important to note that the first time I played him, I had 315 GPM at level uh, at 4 minutes 30. Second time, 305 at 4 minutes 10 when I reached level 6, so... Um, Obviously, this is going to be way, way slower than the other one. We're 300 here right now, so the GPM is pretty similar, but level 6 will be a little bit delayed. Especially because the problem with the hero uh, as a jungler is that you can't kill camps outside, because this is what happens. Look. It's really, really hard to kill them outside. So usually you're going to have to kill all the camps inside, and that's obviously a real drawback to the hero, but uh, yeah, I can't even stack, as you can see right there. So that, that is a real drawback to the hero, but it's not like the end of the world. But it is uh, a little bit of a drawback. Actually, I don't even think that I need... Um... 
the bottle of this game. I'm gonna skip it. Let's go boots first and TP. A mana potion maybe. Okay, so we're gonna reach level 6 by 4 minutes 30. So 320 GPM. So as you can see, I'm farming incredibly fast. Faster than some junglers. So it, the hero is definitely viable in the jungle if you haven't tried that out yet. Level 6, 430, there we go. So, uh, <clears throat> definitely viable. Oh yeah, shit, I forgot mana pot. I can gank mid. I don't speak your language, bro. I speak every language, bro. It's impossible to stack with the hero or kill outside. It's impossible. That's the only drawback. So if they block your camps, you're kind of fucked, which is probably... Yeah, that's probably going to make a difference when you play. Yo, can you walk up and ult him? Alright, I can try and queue him for you. One second. Let's try. Oh, go for that guy? Oh, well. Enemy hero missing from bottom. Right. Good job, bro. Enemy hero missing um, from bottom. The sad thing is also that you cannot, as I explained, you, you well, I didn't explain that, but you can't use the abilities of your uh, oh, of your uh, creeps. So you can only get the auras, which is why I got. We're gonna get a bottle anyway. Uh, which is why I got the aura from Wolf Commander and speed from Minotaurs, but I can't uh, uh, use the abilities of them, which is kind of sad. But I guess that would be a little bit OP. Um, scout is on top of me right now. Alright, level 7. Yeah, I feel like Abyssal is gonna be a great item on this hero. Good Abyssal is something you pretty much want in your team every game, as you guys are aware of. Uh, so yeah, I feel like it will, it's a pretty good abyssal hero. Um, okay, I'm muting him. Is that French or something? Sounds like French. <clears throat> and steam boots will be my boots of choice, or plated greaves. Um, we'll see. Ah, this game is gonna be plated greaves for sure. Massacre. I'll see if we can gank bottom here. Oh well. Didn't actually die. Damn it. Well, none of my teammates have died yet, so I can't really. Re oh shit. Yo, team, 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 team. You're gonna have to kill him or I'm dead. Oh, he fucked up. I can't reach him. Right, we're gonna TP home. Um, okay. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Ghost Marches is also acceptable, I think, because of the fact that the speed will help you out quite a bit. But we'll be going uh, Pleated Reefs this game, because I'm going to be doing like a more aura, pushy kind of uh, deadlift. Alright, going to spawn some minions. Uh, I believe so, City. I'm not sure, City, actually. Yeah, we're 300 GPM, doing good in GPM, doing good in levels. Um, see if we can get another gank off soon, or use my ulti at least. I want to see a good used ulti. Haven't actually been able to try it. What do you think of Puzzle Box? I don't know, dude. I haven't played him in a real game. This is my first real game. All I've done is theorizing, and as I said, play two games of practice mode before this game, just to test if you could actually jungle with the hero, which you very well can. Alright, let's ulti him. Alright, we ulted him. That's cool. Now we know how that works. Interesting. Hello, old dirty base. What's up, dude? I don't know, old dirty base, man. It, it was kind of kind of embarrassing. Well, you know, shit happens. Can we kill bottom guys? Oh, why is there a DD puppet here? Damn it. Yeah, like... All I've gotten out from these games is that the hero... can push. 
the hero can resurrect heroes, and the hero can jungle. That is all I've gotten out of this hero. I, I really don't feel like the hero does a lot, but I haven't tested it. Like, a lot, as I said. But in theory, the hero doesn't do much at all. But I guess we'll find out exactly um, what happens the, la the longer this game goes on. Um, but yeah, the hero seems doesn't seem very good to me. In terms of like presence in the t fight, it, all it can do is push, as I said, uh, as far as I'm aware. But we'll see, of course. Hello. Alright, getting close to the Pleader Graves. The only, the only thing that I said that I feel is really good is the uh, Q abilities ability to gank. No, oh, that was a bad idea. Oh, I made the zombies attack him. That's kind of fun. I have a Q, let's go. Oh, I got him. You see, that that is a like a long immobilized. That, that's a, that's like a good thing. But wait, where did my teal player die? Did he kill the gravestone? Oh. Oh. Okay, plated greaves. Let's get a vestment because that's going to be necessary this game. Then we're going to continue working on our abyssal skull. Oh yeah, to explain the hero, I guess uh, your Q is a shambling ability. And uh, you just press Q to like control it in the way that you do with. Um... Oh, what's a good example? There is one hero where you control something with Q as well. Uh, artillery, uh, the same way as artillery. And uh, your W, if you put that on a creep, uh, all of your creeps attack it um, that target faster and get extra attack speed and movement speed. Um, your E is the ability that spawns corpses. Then we have uh, your ultimate that it basically resurrects uh, heroes if they die. With a very, very long channeling at level 1, to keep that in mind. Alright, let's try it. I already tried like the way he pushes and it's pretty cool. Like You can press like this on the tower and look how fast it drops. So it's a pretty cool uh, idea that it can... Uh, um, it can you can use it on towers. Okay, I'm not going to control it and I got a pretty good Q there. Then don't ghost. What the fuck is the problem? Right, let's get the tower here. The Legion have destroyed a Hellborn tower. No, I was gonna resurrect him. I'm not sure if this is vision. No, it doesn't. Okay. Good to know. Oh wait. Oh. Oh. Wait. What? Did I get? I don't. I don't even. Okay. <laughs> Alright, Abyssal Skull is finished, uh, next item will be Demonic, not only because I feel like Aura items is the way to go for this hero, because he feels like a general, he feels like a general kind of like just support hero where you just want to build team team items, I might be wrong about this as I said, he just feels like a hero where you want to like build supportive uh, item casts, and uh, be because of that I, I like the Bulwark pickup after the Abyssal, and also because the, the lineup I'm playing against right now is full and full of physical damage. So it's a pretty, pretty sick uh, game to get um, or My Skeleton King got the last hit there. <laughs> See, I really feel like uh, a Demonic is a good item not only on the hero, but this game. Yo guys, can we kill this guy? Kill him? Right. Oh, I don't have mana for Q. Oh, nice one, dude. Nice one. Uh, channel time on level 3 ulti is 2 seconds. Let's pop it there as well. Piece nice. of cake. Good job, guys. <laughs> Let's push bottom. I guess he combos quite well with... Uh, um, with Disham. Look at this now, how the tower drops. Pretty sick. Legion have destroyed a Hellborn tower. So, no, I really like this uh, W. Of course, he's only level one. If you're gonna be pushing a lot, maybe it's actually worth um, 
ultimate uh, maybe it's actually worth like maxing it out over Q. Massacre. But I'm not. I don't think so. I'm. I'm not sure though. But if you're gonna be pushing a lot, I can. I can see that happening. All right, getting close to our bulwark here. We're gonna sell our hatchet. I real I gotta say I really fucking hate what S2 did to the minimap. Look at the minimap. The creeps look so fucking stupid. They need to like fix that. Like it's so bad. Like I I I, I can barely see the creeps on like it's just No, why did they do that? <laughs> you know? I really really hate it. So I hope they change that back cuz it's really really bad. Uh, yes, that's what I noticed before. When Gravekeeper ultied, I double would someone, and the Gravekeeper ulti started hitting his teammates instead. So that's pretty fun. I went jungle, as I said. Like I tried the hero twice in practice mode before this game, uh, just to test out if it was actually possible jungling, and it was. So I decided to try him in the jungle the first game we played. Too bad I can't resurrect ancients. That would be fun. Yeah, the minimap looks really bad with the creeps. I really, really hate it. Like they removed the outline. Of the of the creeps, it's there. Uh, you max E when jungling, one point W, one point Q. And keep in mind, it's very very easy to get ganks off, so you should really really like get a gank a lot. I didn't do that this game, uh, because I wanted to show you guys how fast you can jungle without farming, uh, without ganking. I mean, uh, so yeah. Let's see if we're gonna resurrect this guy. That was push mid. Devo's coming back. Devo's coming back. Let's go. Come on, Molly. Now then, absolutely spiffy. I hit him. I hit him. Go, go, go. He's like four seconds to immobilized. Good job. Have destroyed a Hellborn right, let's tower. keep up the push. I don't have any mobilized right now, so I can't uh, stun him. Uh, the cast range is global on your ultimate, so I can resurrect Lord someone anywhere on the map. Under yes, this is going on YouTube. This is my Let's Play series that I do every time there's a new uh, hero. Can I keep resurrecting creeps, of course? Alright, back off now. Back, 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 back. We don't want to fight yet. Okay, I can kill him, I can kill him. Can you hook him? Oh shit, you d made me miss that. Waste of time. That pull back though. Alright, let's back, 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 back. Back and go all five top. Uh, uh, being extra tanky, I don't really feel like a helm or anything like that will be good. I just feel like you need items to help your team because your hero doesn't do a lot by itself. Still, theory. Um, so I don't want to go a helm or anything like that. Because I don't really feel like they're going to be focusing me anyway. So there will be no helm. Um, I'm just going to keep on working towards my demonic. Possibly... Is there any other item we're missing? We have a plate of greaves, we have a bulwark, we have a gnome's wisdom and an abyssal that doesn't stack, but still. Um, no, I feel like uh, demonic here, just finishing that will be really good. I could get... Um, no, I'm just going to go for the demonic here. Oh, where are you? Alright, I'm going to get the... Armor piece, because I will literally not die whatsoever if I have that armor piece. 27 armor. Right, start spawning creeps. I told you. Oh my, we can go. Keep going, keep going. Did you guys see that uh, hill bomb? <laughs> I have a Q in three seconds, and I'll, then we kill him. We'll kill him then. Okay, just uh, kill the Legion instead. Uh. Did you guys see that? <laughs> what I did was I put away the Q like this, and then went back because that means a longer, uh, longer time. That it, like the longer you channel, the longer it immobilizes. So I did like this curve on my uh, on my Q to stun for longer duration, like this. Pretty cool, right? Legendary. Right. 
The Legion had destroyed the real tower. tower. Right. Oh. One of your structures is under attack. Onslaught. Double tap. Uh, astrolabe is also an item I feel like is really good to pick up early. Um, so if you get like an astrolabe into a bustle and stuff like that, uh, that would that is probably pretty good. The way you build a temp is kind of, except no blink. Alright, got a demonic finished here. The Legion have destroyed a Hellborn tower. I hit him. I hit him. Piece of cake. All right, good job, team. Uh, no, because you can't control your E. Like, I can't send this away, see? I can't control my zombies, so I can't micro them to block anyone. They're all, like, they're incontrollable, which is why you can't stack and shit in the jungle leader. Damn it, I thought I'd hit him. If one of you die, I'll just resurrect. Don't worry about it. I don't have mana for it now. Just back, guys. Good job. Let's get out of here. But yeah, I'm 550 GPM, I am 6, 1, and 10, and as you can see, I have so much help from my team right now. Uh, doing very, very good in terms of uh, helping, like, like your team items and team abilities. And this is the way that I feel like you should, um, should play him so far, if you're jungling him. Yes, I'll be I'll be playing the other deadlift avatars. I don't have them yet, but I'll be as soon as I get them, I'll I'll play it. You farm really really fast, as you can see. The wolf commander is really like is extremely good when you're uh, when you're jungling, because it buffs you and all your creeps. Yeah, this is my first game of Deadlift. Um, and yeah, we'll play two or three more of him and see what we can do. No, they don't lose the goal. Like the hero still just the hero just comes back to life. You still die and everything like normal. I'm gonna go back to base. Then we push again. Okay, guys. Beware. Uh, no, you don't need, really need any mana reading because your E your E doesn't cost mana. Only your Q costs mana. Your W. But yeah, I think this item build is insanely strong. But I've only played him one game, as I said multiple times now. But this item build as a jungler is is insane. We don't have an Astro still, right? No, I'll get Astro. A little bit late, but it's still 22 minutes, so I guess eh, it's okay. Yes, I jungled with him. Uh, I got a little bit slower jungle. Oh wait, actually, I got level six at 4:30, right? So I was 20. Like I jungled him twice in practice mode: 4:10, 4:30, level six, 300 GPM both times plus. And this game, I was 300 and 4:40 or something like that. I'm not sure actually. Right, let's go, mid. Regeneration. Uh, you don't you don't need uh, like anything other than the bottle, and the bottle is for room control and just the little mana sustainment that you need. There's not a lot of mana that you need. The Legion have destroyed a Hellborn tower. Yo, hook. A Hellborn barracks has been destroyed. A Hellborn barracks has been destroyed. Get bottom. Nope. 
I actually didn't think of how good this hero synergizes with like Myrmidon. <laughs> Nemesis. One of your structures is under attack. See if we can catch the puppet. Oh shit, I missed that. Double tap. Uh, they can choose whether, they want, whether or not they want to be resurrected. So no, you can't troll with it. The Legion have destroyed a Hellborn tower. I don't want to try Whispering Helm. Hustle Box, maybe. A Hellborn barracks has been destroyed. That W is so good for pushing, man. A Hellborn barracks has been destroyed. Steady on, old chap. Massacre. Oh. The Legion have destroyed a Hellborn tower. All right, interesting game. Look at how fast the towers drop with creeps. The Jesus Christ. A tower. And this will be my last item in this game. And uh, good luck killing me with 50 armor <laughs> when they're all physical damage. I actually want to see how fast they could have killed me. That would have been interesting to see. Victory. I had so Legion much armor. Wins. So much armor. But yeah, the stun is really, really easy. Anyway, so 66 GPM, 9, 1, and 12. Hope you enjoyed the first game of Let's Play Deadlift, and I'll see you in the next one.